yes, we are getting started. I see you. I hear you. You look great. What's up, Chewy? How are you? What up, Jackie? <laughs> Welcome to Honey, I'm Home. This is the show where I just find out what my favorite people are doing in quarantine right now. So first, I want to introduce you. Bay Area legend, Chewy Gomez, DJ, host of CMC. If you grew up in the Bay, you know what CMC is. I used to run home every single day after school to watch. <laughs> and if you don't know, you might want to go find us because we've been there for over 30 years holding it down with the best videos in the Bay Area. And it's absolutely free with the CMC app. So connect. Yes, definitely get the CMC app. Um, so I want to know what you're up to in quarantine. Obviously, you are, you know, you're a DJ. You like being out and about doing events and things like that. And you can't do that right now. So how are you keeping busy? Well, I'm keeping busy with the family. You know, I got two kids. I got a, a nine and, a, and an 11 year old. They're, they're going to be mad at me. I think they're 11 and I don't know, 13. <laughs> I don't know. You know, you start losing uh, the, the, the dates there. You know, everything's messing right. especially nowadays. I don't know if it's Friday or if it's Monday or if it's Wednesday. This mm -hmm. coronavirus got us all stuck. But no, I've been maintaining, you know, helping them. They've been doing a lot of work. The, the Zoom seems to be keeping them busy through school. Um, and then, you know, we have different theme days around the house. So, like yesterday was pink day, the day before that was purple, the day before that we was wearing um, uh, sports attire. So, you know, we, we, we do little things, you know, play board games and stuff to try and stay busy. And me, uh, I go on my social media, whether it's my, my uh, Instagram or my Facebook, and uh, I do, you know, little live broadcasts playing oldies or playing 90s greatest hits, you know, stuff like that, just to kind of keep me sort of like still in the game. Yeah, actually, I was I was curious, speaking of you have kids and they have to do school through Zoom, I actually want to know what that's like, because I don't really have too many friends who have kids of age to go to school. So how do you have to actually help them with their homework? Has it been stressful for you? How's that? How's that part of it going? No, they, they you know, they, they're pretty on top of their game. You know, they, they, they do all their homework. They got classwork that they do. Uh, so it's almost a full day. They have like a Zoom class at like 930 and they have another one at 11 and then they get their assignments. And, uh, you know, today I helped my little one with her math because, you know, that's that's something she tends to have a little more need for help with with her math. So and I'm able to help her there. If it was geography or or, or something else, she might have problems happening as dad. <laughs> but math is good. I know my numbers, so I help her out with her math and, and we uh, do that. But, uh, no, they, they do a really good job with the uh, – amount of activities they give them to do throughout the day. When this whole thing started, when quarantine actually became a thing, what did you tell your kids? How did you explain to them what's happening? Because this is hard for adults to understand, let alone kids to understand. Well, we just explained to them that we had to stay home to stay safe. You know, if you go out there, you get the cooties. And uh, you couldn't <laughs> put it any, any different than that. You know, uh, people out there and they're getting sick and we have to wear a face mask because, you know, you don't know if it's coming from the air, from how they breathe on you or so you know you got to be real careful and every time we walk in the house we take off our coats and leave them in the garage and then we run in and wash our hands and we continue with our activities but yo that's basically what you got to tell them is yo keep the cooties outside and let's stay, stay safe inside that's a good way to put it because we obviously when growing up we used to say cooties um, I used to have a thing we used to do circle circle dot dot now I got my cootie shot <laughs> and we each other like so the because the boys were known to give the girls cooties right it was never the other way around so we, all, we had to get our shots when we were little <laughs> so that's, that's a good way I feel like they probably understand it when you explain it like that are they were they scared at all or they're just treating it like it's not no big deal kind of thing uh no big deal I mean they miss their friends is what they miss the most the interactions my my other one is is you know it's her um first year as a junior high kid so she went to her first dance and then no more dances dad there's no more dance can we have a virtual dance can we do a zoom dance like we do a zoom class dad can you talk to the teachers can we have a zoom dance can we have a zoom dance you know yeah. so they miss the interaction with the other friends and so you know that's the only thing that really is sad for the kids um as adults you know you learn to stay into your own zone and you can do without the activity you know that, yeah. it's kind of nice class. to not surround people sometimes as an adult so mm -hmm. what do you miss the most from everything that you can't do right now what do you wish you could go out and do right now uh, the most thing, I mean, I, I'm usually pretty pretty good at staying home, but I mean, I, I miss DJing parties, you know, whether it's a quinceanera wedding or just being at the club and socializing. That's what I miss the most, the interaction with people. Um, as far as eating out, you know, I mean, yeah, I love going to restaurants, but you know, safety first. Um, I do miss my Ruth Chris. I was just telling my wife, she said, what do you want for dinner? I said, Ruth Chris. She goes, 
not an option. <laughs> are they not doing deliveries or anything like that? No, they are, but we're not close. We're in South City. They're in San Francisco. So right. it's not the same as getting your steak sizzling off, off the grill, you know. But um, that's definitely going to be one of the first places I hit when, I, when I'm done with quarantine. Ruth, Chris, here I come. Woo! You know, I was going to say what, the first place I'd hit is In-N-Out, but I have hit In-N-Out since the quarantine started. And the because it's drive through the lines are wild, like yeah. 45 minutes sitting in your car. But once you get your hands on your favorite food, it's all worth it, right? <laughs> Isn't it? it? It really is. And, you know, we did that as well, you know, but the thing that, that helps us out a lot, I guess, now is, is the apps. You know, you order online and you just go there and it's usually pretty, pretty quick about it. if you order it ahead of time. We did... Uh, Red Robins yesterday, and we pulled up. We called in, said we're outside. Two minutes later, they came outside, and everything was still nice and warm. So it wasn't too, too bad. Speaking of apps, what are your top three most used apps right now that you're in quarantine? So, things that you normally wouldn't be on so much. <laughs> Amazon Prime. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Netflix, I've been on more than uh, probably ever. And <laughs> since I, I'm a big fan of the Vita program that just came out with the, the new season, I had to get the stars app to, to be able to watch Vita on stars. It's a show about these uh, girls whose mom used to own a bar in uh, Boyle Heights in LA. And uh, it's a pretty racy, sexy bar, uh, Latino Chicano series. If you haven't seen it, check it out, give it a try. It's, it's called Vita, V-I-D-A, Vita. Cool. It sounds, oh, light, like life, Vita. Yeah, like life. I thought it was Vita was like a name, someone's name. <laughs> it is. It's, it's, it's actually her mom's name in, in the show. Oh, it's the okay. girl's mom. And so it was Vita's place. And so that's why you say Vita, not Vita. Because um, right. they, they called her mom Vita. So. I'm learning my Spanish. I'm just, I'm just a gringa learning my, my Espanol. <laughs> Get it, gringa. <laughs> um, so the question that, the burning question that everybody wants to know, Chewy, is have you run out of toilet paper yet? No, no, no. I'm, you know, that's, that's funny because I wouldn't call myself a hoarder, but I always keep extra of everything. So when I go shopping, like you'll see like eight body washes in my house. You see like 10 hand sanitizers. You see a, 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 a case of tissue, a case of toilet paper, a case of hand towels. So people used to laugh at me like, dude, why do you keep so much? And now everybody like, really smart guy. You were ahead of the game. I'm like, yep, that's what I do. It's just the way I've always been. I always kept like, you know, 10 uh, dove bars. You know, I don't, I don't need 10 dove bars to wash. I use one at a time, but I keep 10 because you never know when you're going to run out. Did anybody, since you, since people know that you always have a lot of stuff, do people hit you up like, Hey, can I get an extra roll? Cause, because the store is out and I just, yeah, like, my sister and my brother, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll be like, can you give me a roll to hold me over till I, I go to the store? I say, like, yeah, come on over. Cause my sister lives across the street. So she's close. And my brother works down the street. So on his way home, he might be like, yo, do you have a, like you know right now we've been drinking these these new mixes it's like tequila and squirt in a can yo do you have any squirt yeah i got a couple come on by get you one of these new mixes <laughs> that's awesome have you picked up any new hobbies that you never really thought you would be into before all this yeah my wife got me into doing calligraphy so we started doing calligraphy together and then um the other stuff that that, that we've been doing that, that we weren't doing before i mean we, we we play a lot of board games but we started playing word searches against each other so we'll put a, a timer up and we'll challenge each other to play word searches. That's fun. I'm interested in this calligraphy. Do you have any examples of anything you've made like around you right now? Not around me. Uh, there was some stuff that I was practicing, some letters. Um, so we bought a couple of pens, bought some ink and bought some thick gray paper to kind of sort of do. Next time I'll, I'll send you a picture. I might, I might copy you. That sounds like something fun. Cause I, I'm, I've been painting and I'm not like, I'm not an artist. I'm not a painter, but I've just decided like, Hey, I'm in quarantine. Let's do something different. So calligraphy sounds like something I'd be willing to mm -hmm. get my, are you and it's relaxing, you know, I mean, painting, yeah. I, I can, I can see that relaxing and calligraphy is kind of the same way you kind of get into it. And when you take your time drawing letters, it's, it's really cool. Do you find, do you find that you are like good at it or are you having trouble? Is it hard? Um, like anything else, it's just trial and error. You try, try, and you get better the more you try. So, um, first it was real sketchy and now my lines are getting smoother. So it's coming along. Hmm. Cool. So have you put anything on hold during this quarantine that as soon as it's done, you have like plans to, you know, any kind of events or parties or anything like that, that you, uh, have scheduled for later in the year? Yeah, there was a couple of weddings that were, um, sort of postponed you know we DJ weddings in quinceanera so those have been postponed we're waiting on those days to come back so we can finish booking those out uh, my latino fridays has been put on hold 
So we do Latino Fridays every Friday at the Grand. And uh, my daughter's birthday got postponed. So, you know, um, we do uh, big birthday parties on, you know, the 5, 10, 15 years. So my daughter's 10th birthday is coming up and we're supposed to go out to Disney World. So that got put on hold. So we're going to wait to sort of put that together once this is all over and done with. Yeah, I'm sure she'll appreciate, even though it'll be way after her birthday, even taking her months later, like, it's still going to be fun for her. So. Yeah, I mean, we've been planning, so, you know, she gets to look at more stuff she wants to do while she's there, so she right. gets to go and participate and do that. Cool, well, Chewy, let everyone know um, where they can find you, where they can connect with you, anything that you want to promote, the floor is all yours. The easiest way to connect with me is at Chewy Gomez, and that's on all platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Um, the only thing that's different is my Spotify. My Spotify is real Chewy Gomez, all one word, no spaces, no dashes. Real, R-E-A-L, Chewy Gomez. Uh, and other than that, everything else is just Chewy Gomez. And thank you. Good seeing you. Jackie, stay cool. Good seeing you. Always a pleasure talking to you. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your quarantine as much as you can. Say hello to the fam. And... Hopefully I'll see you real soon in person. Yeah, stay safe, girl. All right, bye. Bye.